Okay, ladies, here we go. Crisis cleaning 1.2, okay? What is crisis cleaning? Crisis cleaning is something that we do when we don't have a lot of time and we just need to get stuff done. Maybe we're a little bit impatient about getting a house done. Maybe we have company coming over, anything like that. So that's a crisis clean. Um, you're going to take a couple hours. You're going to take a couple breaks. You're going to have a lot of fun and you're going to get it done. Okay. So we start in the kitchen. Actually, no, we don't. We start dressed to shoes, hair done, makeup done. Like I told you earlier, I foregone my makeup today, but I did put moisturizer on because I'm going to be doing my highlights. So dressed to shoes. You have to be dressed to shoes. Now, if you've done your morning routine, this becomes easier, and you will see why as we go on. So, we are going to start in the kitchen. You are going to start by filling your sink full of hot, soapy water because that is what you do. Trust me. So, we want some hot, soapy water. If you have dishes that need to get done, you are going to do those dishes. Do not empty your water. The other one that I can think of that you need to start with would be for me. Okay, I'm going for me here. You choose. Um, Fly Lady suggests starting clearing off the counters. I myself start with going through the refrigerator and getting out any food that needs to go because I've got this nice hot soapy water that I can get everything washed in. So I'm going to continue to fill up my sink, get my hot soapy water, go through my fridge, get some breakfast dishes done. You have 15 minutes in the kitchen, okay? Set your timer and I'll see you in 15, all right? In three two, one, go. Okay, we are now in the living room. All right, it does not matter if you didn't get everything clean in the kitchen that you wanted to. We're going to go back there. It's the whole point of crisis cleaning. Now being in the living room, you're going to want to have a trash bag and you're going to want to have your bin to dump stuff in and to put stuff away. You're going to have 15 minutes. I want you to pick up whatever you can. Now, if you notice here, my son has his juice out. My son left his plate from before he went to school. So that stuff is gonna be going into the kitchen. Remember, we did not empty that hot soapy water, so we still have it, okay? That's the whole point of this. Everything is gonna run into one another. Now, you're gonna have 15 minutes Get as much stuff picked up and put away as you possibly can, all right? Don't worry, we're going to come back here. So if you don't get it all done, you don't get it all done, it's fine, all right? Pause the video, set your timer in three, two, one. Didn't get the living room done? That's no problem. We'll be going back there, okay? Don't stop and put things away. Just get them all in the bag, okay? That is what we're doing. Now, we're back in the kitchen. We have this hot, soapy water. We have dishes that we have found. We are going to finish doing those dishes. And next, we are going to wipe off our counters. Wipe off your stove. Wipe off your refrigerator. Hot, soapy water does miracles, okay? Just wipe everything down, one side of the counter at a time, okay? You can do this. If you don't get everything done in 15 minutes, don't worry. We're coming back here, okay? If you're done with the kitchen after this one, great. If you're not, don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Set your timer, 15 minutes. Pause the video in three, two, one. Okay, you're done with that 15 minutes in the kitchen. Now, here's the big one. And you need to do this.
take a 15 minute break. Yes, a break. Because marathon cleaning is what got us into trouble in the first place. So now you're gonna take 15 minutes, you're gonna relax, you're gonna do whatever, and when your timer goes off, you're gonna come right back to it. And when we come back, I will see you in the bathroom. I'll talk to you then. Okay, pause the video. Set your timer in three, two, one. Okay, we've had our break. We are now in the bathroom. Now here is where the morning routine helps. If you have swished and swiped already, you don't have to do that now. You can do something else. So you're, if you haven't, you're going to swish your toilet bowl and you're going to swipe your counters down and swipe anything else down that you do during the morning swish and swipe. If you're not sure about how to do a swish and swipe, check out mine and my son's video on swishing and swiping. Okay, so you've got 15 minutes. Let's get the bathroom in order. Take any dirty towels, any dirty clothes, get them in the hamper. Don't start the wash. Okay, we're not worried about having to go run and start the wash. If your wash machine is in the bathroom like mine is, it is just natural to take any clothes and throw them in the wash machine. I will be starting my dryer. You should, depending upon the size, the scale, and the clutter stature of your bathroom be able to get it done in one 15 minute session. If not, just come back here, okay? So I am going to do my swish and swipe because like I said, I foregoed some of my morning stuff to do this while I am doing this uh, crisis cleaning video for y'all. So I'm gonna get my bathroom done. I'm gonna set my timer and I'll see y'all in 15 minutes, okay? Bye. Okay, ladies, I am back in the kitchen for my last time, okay? I'm going to wipe down all my counters. I am going to make sure, I almost stopped the video. I am going to make sure my sink is shiny. I'm going to empty the trash, and I'm going to sweep and mop. Do not mop or empty the trash until your final 15 minutes in here. If you need to come back in here, fine. Don't worry about it. We're working on getting this done. So everything else is gonna get wiped down. I'm going to sweep, I'm going to mop, and my trash is already gone because the garbage man came and I wanted to get it out. So, all right, set your timer. Pause the video in three, two, one, see you in 15. All right, we're back in the living room. Is everything picked up in here? If not, keep going on it, okay? It's not a big deal. Everyone's home is different, okay? For me, I got mine done, not a big deal. I've been doing this a lot longer. Now I'm going to dust and I'm going to vacuum because everything is picked up and put away. Continue to load things into your put away bag or basket. Don't stop to put them away until everything is picked up. Then use a 15 minute spot to go and put everything away. All right. So I will see you in 15 minutes. I will have everything dusted, cleaned off, and the carpets will be vacuumed. Shh, don't tell my son. Okay. <laughs> Set your timer. Pause the video in three, two, one, go. All right. It's that time again. It's break time. Yes, break time. Okay. Every 45 minutes, you are taking a 15 minute break. No arguments. Just do it. Trust me. Okay. It has worked for me. It's worked for Fly Lady. That's why we do it. So take your 15 minutes. Do whatever you want to do, and then I'm going to meet you in my bedroom, okay? I'll see you in 15. Pause the video, set your timer in three, two, one. 
All right, 15 minute break done. We are now in the bedroom, master bedroom, your bedroom, whatever you want to consider it. Crisis cleaning does not necessarily need to extend into the bedrooms. If you can shut the door, great. But if you think people are going to go into your bedroom, that's where we go. Now, here again is where the morning routine comes into play. If your bed is already made, you don't have to do it. If not, let's get it done, okay? Get your bed made, get any dirty clothes in that hamper, which is why we didn't start a load of laundry before. Get any dirty clothes into the hamper, get anything picked up and put away if necessary. You should still have your pick up and put away bin. Um, if it's a laundry basket, if it's one of the fly lady totes for her decluttering system, whatever it is, great. It could be another garbage bag. It doesn't matter as long as you can keep track of which bag is garbage and which bag is put away. Now, have your garbage bag still throughout this whole thing because you don't want to keep walking to go put stuff away. You want to empty trash cans as you go from room to room, from zone to zone. So, this room needs to get dusted. My husband's clothes need to get put in the washer because, you know, the hamper is two feet away from the door and we can't do it, but that's okay. That's okay. That's what I'm here for. He works all day. I work from home. I don't mind doing it. All right. Here we go. In, pause your video, set your timer. In three, two, one, see you in 15. All right, I am now in the room which more often than not needs the most in a crisis clean because more often than not, if people are coming over, they have kids and they're going to be in here. So, 15 minutes, so I'll pick up, put away toys, vacuum the carpet, shh, don't tell him. For you, you might be in your dining room. I don't have a dining room. So, if you don't have a dining room, you don't have a kid's room, Pick another room. Is it a room we haven't been to or a room that needs 15 more minutes? So you choose. You know your home. You know where company goes. That's the point of this. When somebody is coming over to get the areas that you know they're going to go to. That's why we're not doing cupboards. That's why we're not doing things that people won't go into. People will go into the fridge. That's why we did the fridge. You know, to get a drink, to get maybe get something to eat, whatever, why ever they're there. So, you have 15 minutes in this zone. I will see you in 15 minutes. Pause the video, set your timer in three, two, one, go. Now, if my timer in a room, I'm not sure which one, but done 15 minutes. I heard a beep, it went off, so I know I'm done. My house is done. It's time for a break anyways, so take your 15 minute break. If your house is not done yet, don't worry about it, don't fret, okay? Take 15 minutes in a zone, stop whether you're done in that zone or not, and move on to the next one. Stop after that 15, move on to the next one. Stop after that 15 and take a 15 minute break. Keep going until you have your house the way you want it or until it's not fun anymore. Should have told you at the beginning, have some music going during this. I mean, it makes you so much happier when you have music to clean by, okay? That is Crisis Cleaning 1.2. I've walked you through it. I've cleaned my home. How about you? Okay? Fly Lady Renee, signing off. Have a very, very blessed day. And keep flying.